if you put a metal ring on your thumb, you will inevitably draw certain negative forces towards you. You will trip and fall for nothing, all kinds of things will happen, everything goes wrong. From small things to big things, <laughs> simply because uh, they would have attracted certain dimensions of energy. If you're in touch with Devi, after that, energy is turning negative for you doesn't happen. Picture this, you wake up one morning, your coffee spills, your Wi-Fi is down and your neighbor is blasting songs of Tony Kaka at full volume and your wife is yelling at you at top of her voice. Clearly, your house is filled with negative energy. Right? Today, we're diving into the murky waters of negative energy. That all-purpose crepe goat for every inconvenience from your burnt toast to your family member getting cancer. But what is this negative energy really? Is it a thing? Or just a fancy way of saying, I don't know why stuff goes wrong, but let's blame the cosmos anyway. If we look at our newspapers, especially digital media, and of course, Instagram and YouTube, you will see frightening writings and reels about negative energy being the reason for almost all disasters that could happen in a house or a family. These include children failing exams, loan repayments being stalled, accidents happening and so on. Just scroll through a couple of digital media posts and you will see it. Negative energy ke kuch signs kya hote hain kisi Number one, bohot jada aalas hona, bohot jada bimariyan hona, kuch bhi kaam karne ka man na karna, ghar mein deewaron par cracks hona, bohot jada ceiling hona. Agar aapka dimag pure din mein 10 baar negative hua hai aur do baar positive hua hai to aap samajh lo aapka ghar negative hai. If you feel affected by negativity and negative energy on a daily basis, do this simple trick. Just take a glass full of water and rotate it seven times over your head. Once you do this, you throw this water in the sink and repeat this process for seven consecutive days. You will see that the black energy or the negative energy will leave you instant. So what exactly is this negative energy? How scientific is it? Let's crack open this can of pseudo scientific nonsense and see what oozes out. And I will try not to use too much scientific words here and I will try and keep it simple. The words negative and energy are terms that are frequently learnt in physics. Therefore, when we hear it, it may feel like it has a scientific touch. And that is what exactly people who just throw these words around in their reels most often do. Make their words appear scientific by using scientific jargon. Let's debunk it with a sprinkle of science and a whole lot of common sense. Stay tuned to Pale Blue Thoughts. What does science have to say about this so-called negative energy? Let us examine it. First, we should take these two words separately, the word negative and the word energy. First, let us take negative. What is the meaning of the word negative? It is a word with many different meanings in English. We hear it in many contexts. For example, if a number is said to be negative, in mathematics, it's pretty straightforward. We use the negative sign to represent numbers below zero. If I have 10 rupees in my pocket, that means I have positive rupees 10. If I owe someone 10 rupees, that means I have negative 10. That is, it is below zero, a debt as far as I am concerned. Now, how do we use it in common language? Think about the term positive or positive things. In common language, you often use it to mean something that feels pleasant or beneficial to us. But when we say a negative outcome, we mean something that feels harmful or unpleasant to us. In common English, we refer to such unpleasant consequences as negative outcomes. Now coming to physics, when we look at it, we talk about positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons. What do we mean by negative charge here? Now this is quite interesting. It is just a name. When we say positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons, what we essentially mean is that there is a property called charge and it is opposite in nature for protons and electrons. There are two types of charges, one called positive 
and the other called negative. You could have called them by any other names. You can replace it with front and back and the particles won't mind a bit. Due to historical reasons, they were named positive and negative. Even if you reverse it and call the electron positive and the proton negative, all the laws of physics will still hold true. Only the labels will change. So we use the words negative and positive in many such different senses. What we need to ask those who speak about negative energy is, in which sense are the astrologers, Vastu experts, numerologists and tarot card readers using these words? Do they mean deaths, charges or classification of outcomes? If you look at what they write and say about it, you won't find clarity there. Now, the second word, which is slightly more critical, is energy. What is energy? The word energy has an interesting history because it does not have a 100% precise single definition. It is a physical quantity. It is a concept that helps us explain many things about the universe or the physical world more easily. That is what we mean by the word energy. It is not an ancient concept. It is barely 200 to 300 years old. Even in physics, we use it in many senses. For example, the basic definition we learn in school is energy is the ability to do work. That is, energy is defined as the ability to perform work. It is what powers your car, lights up your house and lets you binge watch terrible reality TV shows. It is measured in joules. Yes, joules, not bad vibes or cosmic disturbances. But it does not have to be always that way. Even if there is no agent performing any work, the concept of energy often remains significant. Now, we often hear about the energy of a signal. For example, if you are using a wireless device, the signal you receive is essentially an electromagnetic wave that has a certain voltage. That signal also has energy. So in signal processing, the word energy may not always mean the ability to perform work. It could refer to a different quantity. Therefore, we need to understand the concept of energy in various ways. Especially regarding energy in physics, there are four important laws that we need to understand. And not one of them involves black stones or incense sticks. The most important of these is the law of thermodynamics. In particular, the first and second laws of thermodynamics are very significant. In school, We've all learned the first law of thermodynamics as the law of conservation of energy. That is, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. That is what the law of conservation of energy states. Now the second law of thermodynamics talks about the direction in which energy transfer naturally occurs. It states that energy transfer always occurs in the direction in which entropy increases. In other words, energy transfer naturally happens in the direction of greater disorder. The universe doesn't care about your vibes, it cares about entropy. Now, while we continue to talk about energy repeatedly, we need to understand that energy has the potential to do work. Now, for example, suppose I lift a heavy object from the ground and place it higher up. When it reaches the new position, it gains some additional energy. We call it potential energy. That potential energy arises due to gravity. If the object falls back to the ground, all of the potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy in the form of sound and heat. Similarly, when a moving object collides with us, the energy imparted to our body is the kinetic energy of that object. In this way, we use the word energy in different senses. Now let us combine these two words, energy and negative. If we say that energy is negative, what does that mean? Energy is generally measured in joules. If you remember what you learned in school, one joule of energy is the amount of work done when a force of one newton moves an object by one meter. Now, if energy is said to be negative, does it mean negative distance, negative time or negative mass? If the word negative means below zero, 
then are they implying that energy can be negative? Let us consider the unit of energy for a moment. As I mentioned, the standard unit of energy is the joule. A joule is the amount of work done when a force of 1 Newton moves an object 1 meter. Or to put it in another way, 1 joule is 1 Newton meter. Now what exactly is a Newton? A Newton is the amount of force required to accelerate a mass of 1 kilogram by 1 meter per second squared. So a Newton is necessarily 1 kilogram meter per second squared. Now when we say joule is a Newton meter, we are saying it's kilogram meter squared per second squared. That is the unit of energy. Let us break this down further. In the definition, we have three components. Kilogram represents mass, meter represents distance, second represents time. Now the square of a second and the square of a meter both result in positive values. Whether you square a positive number or a negative number, the result will always be positive. Therefore, in the unit of joules, both meter squared and second squared are always positive. Now, can the mass be negative? We don't really know how mass could be negative. But let's examine what would happen if mass were negative. If you applied a force of 1 Newton northward on a 1 kilogram object, it would accelerate at 1 meter per second squared in the same direction. But if that mass were minus 1 kilogram, then applying that same force northward would theoretically cause the object to move southward. Have you ever witnessed such a thing? Have you ever encountered an object that accelerates in the opposite direction of the applied force? No, because such an object doesn't exist. All objects around us, including ourselves, have positive mass. We have never encountered negative mass. Therefore, since mass cannot be negative and since both meter squared and second squared are always positive, how can energy be negative? The answer is simple. Energy is a quantity that cannot be negative. Hence, we need to ask those who talk about negative energy, what exactly do they mean by it? In the pseudo-scientific world, energy means well, it means whatever the scamster wants it to mean. Is your Wi-Fi signal weak? Must be negative energy. House plants dying? Negative energy. Failed a job interview? You guessed it? Negative energy. It's a Swiss army knife of nonsense explanations. Ever heard of someone spending a fortune on negative energy removal experts? Yes, that's the thing. They come in burn some incense, wave their hands around and tell you that your sofa is harboring bad vibes. Not termites, not loose springs, bad vibes. Then they claim that placing a pot of black stones will remove negative energy from your life and solve all your problems. If that were true, how simple would life be? The claim is that they absorb negative energy, right? Oh, and don't forget the energy healers who wave their hands over your head, mumbling about chakras and cosmic waves. Now, there is a strict concept of negative energy in physics. For example, when a rocket is launched from Earth, it must overcome Earth's gravitational attraction, which is like a debt of energy. This is represented as negative potential energy. So when physicists talk about negative energy, they mean something very specific, like gravitational potential energy being negative when an object is bound to a planet, not your aunt's collection of Himalayan salt lamps. So the next time someone tells you to remove negative energy, ask them to define it. Is it electrons? Or is it gravitational potential? Or is it just a fancy way of saying, I have no clue what I'm talking about, but I want your money anyway. So the way pseudoscience uses the term negative energy has no basis in actual physics. So the hanging of chili and lemons at the entrance of a house, the sprinkling of salt around the house or burning camphor and clothes, repositioning furniture, hanging mirrors, burning dupe or incense, reciting specific mantras or hanging yantras or other mystical diagrams or pictures to balance the energies are nothing but some of the million ways to take away your hard-earned money 
by the astrology vastu peng shui master scamsters so there you have it negative energy the one size fits all excuse for everything wrong in your life whether it's a flat tire a bad hair day or your mother in law's aggressive whatsapp forwards just blame it on negative energy but remember the only real energy that is worth your attention is the one that powers your brain use it wisely subscribe for more debunking and more bad vibes for the pseudo scientific nonsense out there if you like my content and want me to continue making videos please support me using these options your small donations will help me make even better content for you so see you in the next one